Hey, are you poisoning your React components? Now you might be wondering, Josh, what the hell does poisoning a React component mean? And why does it sound so extreme, like Jesus Christ, how can you poison a component? I didn't make that up. In fact, Vercel made that up. But yeah, it sounds pretty extreme. Let's learn what it's all about and how you can stop poisoning your React components. Now, poisoning your components is surprisingly easy, actually. Let's take a look at this example I set up right here. It's pretty common in these projects to or in any project to have like a utils.ts file where you keep small utility functions you reuse across your entire application. For example, let's say we had a client one function in the utils.ts that we exported from there and I'm gonna make it yellow. That means it's a client function and then blue will be server functions here in a second. So inside of this utils.ts file, we're exporting client one function and we can also export another client two function, for example. We will not get any problems with this and let me show you how this looks. This is how that would look in practice. A client one, a client two inside of a utils.ts file and any React client component or any regular React component because they are a client by default, where we can now go ahead and import client one, execute that inside of a client component and we will not get any issues. Let's check this out. Let's reload the page. We can see my page and we will be able to see the console log client one inside of our log right here. Let me zoom in so I can see this easier right here. So everything works as expected. If you go back right here, the client one and client two are rendered and executed properly. However, let's see how we can poison our component. And we can do that by introducing a third function. Let's call this server and make this blue to indicate this is a server function that we have just moved into the same utils.ts file. Inside of our utils, it would look like this. We can declare an async server function. This needs to be async because um, in my example, we're going to perform a database action. So I'm going to query the database for any post that we have, like a blog post, for example, and then return that post from the server function. As we know, let's import the database. These database calls can only happen on the server. They cannot happen client side. This is using Prisma under the hood, so this won't work on the client. And even just by introducing this function into our utils.ts, check out what happens on the page. Nothing else changed. We are never actually using this server function. But if I go back to the page, you can see Prisma client is unable to be run in the browser. Interesting. So we have just poisoned or client component that is the page right here, even though we're not using the function at all. So what the hell happened? Let's visualize that right here in our utils.ts file. When we introduce the server function and we are calling the client function, let's not make that blue, that might be a bit distracting. And we are calling the client one function from our client component. Not only is the client one function red, but all of these are. So our page.tsx or any client component that you're using this function, the client function in, is going ahead, going over to the utils.ts file and checking out which files or which functions are in there. Even if we're not using them, like the server function, it will still do that. That behavior will always happen. And therefore, we get the error that the Prisma client is unable to be run in the browser. Now, how do we solve that? We want this as a utility function. What's the solution here? Apparently, we can't declare this in the utils.ts file. And I learned that the hard way by debugging for like an hour. What we can do is let's remove this function from the utils.ts and declare something like a server.utils.ts dash utils.ts and post the function right in here. Great. This will work, however, we can still improve on that. So for example, let's just try this right now because this is in a separate file now, the server function or page should render just normally. Great, it does because only the functions in the same file are read like in or um, utils.ts that is for the client. Now, the thing is we can still try calling the server function inside of our client component. There is nothing stopping us from that, which is not ideal. Let's get rid of the unused import and we will get the same exact error that Prisma client cannot be run in the browser right here. So nothing really changed if we try invoking the server function from our client component. But what we can do is install a very handy dependency and that is called yarn add or npm install server dash 
only. And to leverage that to really improve our error message, we can go at the very top and say import server dash only. And this comes from the server only package that we have just installed. And that's literally all it does. It's a very, very simple package. And look at this. The error message that we get is so much cleaner. You're importing a component that needs server only. That only works in a server component, but one of its parents, in our case the page.tsx, is marked with use client so it's a client component well sherlock you're damn right and this error message is way more readable to any developer working with you if you're working together on multiple projects or for yourself if you forget what is for the client and what is for the server which can definitely happen